out to, I have another exclusive interview for you tonight. Um, Bill Stanton, the private investigator for uh, baby Lisa, the family searching for baby Lisa. He says his real client is the truth. So Bill Stanton, uh, what do you think about this mystery man? Could this mystery man be the key to, to solving this case? Well, yet to be determined. Uh, I think it is compelling. I think the simple fact that you have three separate witnesses all saying something to the effect of they saw someone carrying a child that wasn't wrapped up in a blanket, that wasn't necessarily wrapped up in baby clothes, is compelling. These three witnesses didn't know each other. Now, I'm not the KCPD, I'm not the FBI. I haven't had exposure to these witnesses. I haven't followed up and know the validity or, or their backgrounds. But from what I'm hearing, this is quite interesting. And this falls in directly with the timeline that we have been talking about since this first occurred. Well, on the other side of the coin, the affidavit saying the cadaver dogs hit on a scent inside the home near the bed, near the bed in Deborah, the mother's room. Uh, listen to this from ABC's Good Morning America. The dog alerted on one side or the other of the bed, but as you notice, if you walk around, all the carpeting is intact. That is, it was not cut out to preserve whatever it was that the dog allegedly uh, hit on. Bill Stanton, private investigator searching for baby Lisa. Here tonight exclusively, what do you make of the cadaver dog hitting on uh, the floor in the, in the mother's bedroom? Well, you know, I have my own personal and professional uh, theories. I'll keep them to myself. That's what because we'd like to know. Well, I'm <laughs> Why? I, because I'm not the defense attorney. I'm not here to defend the family. Well, what, what, I'm no, here for the I'm truth. I'm not suggesting you're a defense attorney. I just want to find out what do you think? To me, it doesn't fall in with the timeline. I mean, the people that I've spoken to uh, that know, that have worked these cases in the past, that have handled these type of dogs, you know, there are a lot of false positives that, you know, more times than not, the mistake has happened by the handler. Now, let me make note, I am not questioning the KCPD or the FBI, but what I'm questioning is the timeline. Tell me when this child was killed and placed on the floor and for how long you have to remember there were two boys in the house at the time so what's to be said is this mother accidentally or on purpose murdered this child contained herself not waking up the children and left the baby there for enough time for a dog to hit upon it for me my personal feeling is it did not happen i am still now i understand i am still looking at the family I am not totally discounting them, but I have yet to hear credible information or proof that would lead me to them. I'm still, I have one eye on them, but I am more looking to the outside, other, outside.